I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. He's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 23-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Got his receiver, but it's knocked out. The quarterback has to be very careful, Brad, of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off. He threw the ball there, and it made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. He steps out around the 26-yard line. and he's tackled short. Just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire him up. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And down he goes at the 39. The Cyclones offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that have the chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Caught and he's brought down quickly. That makes it second and two. And he just gets rid of it. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 12. bring him down at the one. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 61-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all this one great kick he's to the 20 he makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line Iowa State's in the driver's seat right now but it's still early Kirk yep very early in this game but you gotta love the feel for it as far as they're concerned they came up with a stop and then they get points and right now they're out of the game you never like to have to play from behind but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds they just need to go out there and play they'll run it and he's taken down at the 23. 
Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 23-yard line. get there. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. Milton is back deep to return the play. Brought down at the 45-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Iowa State up seven points. And he's tackled at the positive yardage. made at the 34 yard line he is such a reliable target you throw it anywhere near him and this guy's gonna get his hands on it and make a catch Inside the 10, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 55-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 14-0. It looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. Tackle at the 19-yard line. The Cyclones are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Boss is out to the tailback on the screen. He's taken down at the 18. Loss of a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. Brought down around the 27-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. They'll get him for a loss. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Milton takes it to 36. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. Iowa State's offense right now, I think all you can call is scary. Well, they can attack you in so many different ways. They have a quarterback right now that's getting the ball out of his hands and making great decisions, and they have playmakers all over the field. This offense is tough to stop. some open field he makes his way to about the 38 
Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Nice run to the outside. That makes it second and six. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Gaining five on the play. That'll make it third and one. Here we go. Green nine. Hammerhead. Green. There's a strike complete. Big play, and it's first and goal. Cyclones. He's having quite a game. Three rushing touchdowns now. I know this defense prepared for his running ability, but even so, boy, he's had a great day. And he hits the PAT. It was a six-play, 55-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 21-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cyclones have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Incomplete pass. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Quick throw. And down he goes at the 35. Gain of 10 on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. He is 21. He is 21. All day, all day, all day. And that's it for the first quarter, and it's been all one-sided. Iowa State's got a three-touchdown advantage. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. Game of one on the play. That makes it first and ten. Nice run there. Hudson, left side. He's on the run. Hudson's and they get nice yardage back. on that run. Five yards. Here we go. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Tries to get around the corner. He's at the 30, knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. This is the ninth play of this drive. And they make the stop at the 14-yard line. First and ten. Hey, Ross, slip. Ross, slip. 
And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Slings it. Touchdown, Oklahoma! catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. And he adds the extra point. Oklahoma kicked this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Tackle at the 25-yard line. Caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Steps out of bounds at the 42. Right around the 46-yard line. third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks they got to him and he did not get the first down It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Throws complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. That'll be a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. from their own 17-yard line. Second down. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. And now he's got room to run. They'll bring him down at around the 44-yard line. 
Good looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. He gets hit out of bounds. At about the 49 from their own 49-yard line. Second down. He makes it out to midfield. And the safety with the interception. Brad, it's still early in this game, and they might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time, to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. First and 10. Ball on the 44. The Sooners wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Out of bounds around the 44-yard line. I tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. Over the middle to his tailback. And he stopped behind the line. And they'll lose a yard there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From the 45-yard line, it's second go. down. He's knocked out of bounds around the 38-yard line. He gets sacked on the play. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Brown will be the return man. to the 20. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. The Cyclones lead it by 17. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This margin at halftime is not at all what we expected to see between two evenly matched teams. This game's gotten a ton of attention leading up to it. How easy is it, David, for a team to kind of get let down after getting all of that attention after a first half? Well, I, I kept hearing Reese Davis and Kirk Herbstreit and, and Nestler talk all week about how this game was going to be so good. And now, now I'm in this game and I'm getting kicked around and I got no response for it. So I think once you're told that you belong on this stage and you've been told that your team is great, you got to prove it. And if you don't step up and prove it, now you're down three scores at the half. I mean, 
you won't be favored in many games, and there won't be many guys on TV talking about how good you are and how evenly matched, because right now, you're outclassed. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Throws this one out to the left. That's incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Ready! Lighting! Run! He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here we go! Lighting. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. That's a great tackle. It's the 39-yard line. There you go. If you're going to come back in this game, it's going to start with one play. And maybe that pick is what turns things around for you. From the 39-yard line, first down. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. He is drilled at the 13-yard line. That's a game of 16 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. And he tackles him hard at the 11. He goes out of bounds at about the nine yard line. Throws complete, he's got space to work. They're not done yet. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Iowa State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. That's a deep. Come on, come on, come on. That brings him second and five. Check, check. Lang gets another carry. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. No gain on the play. Third down. He 
steps out at the 31. That's good for him. That makes it fourth and four. Rivera to punt. Brown, fields at the 29, brought down at the 38. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 39. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Milton is back awaiting the punt. Oh, excellent punt. He fields it at the 17. They'll bring him down at the 26. They're ready to begin another drive. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. And he's tackled at the 29. No game. That makes it 37. Let's go! Red, 68! There's a strike complete. And down he goes at the 49. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Quick throw. Tackle made at the 41. He might have a chance. Nice run there as they work the outside. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still second and down. It's second and eight. Ball on the 39. Steps out of bounds at the 35-yard line. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Here we go! Line in. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. Nice job there to bring up a fourth down. Pretty good throw here by the quarterback, but he couldn't quite get it in there. That was a nice job by the defense. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And it's good. They 
line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 28. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. Number 26 makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Number 26 makes the tackle at the 50-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Ready! Ready! Quick pass, brought down around the 21-yard line. So at the end of three, Iowa State in front, 27-14. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Scrambling around. Looking for the corner. Slides down to the ground. That's good for being three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Here we go. Great night. Here's a quick throw. Oh, what an interception. He's out of bounds right around the four-yard line. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. First down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. Nice run, and he's brought down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 15-yard line. They hand it off again. He gets hit out of bounds around the 18-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Hits him hard at the 23 yard line. He laterals the ball. He fights forward to about the 23. No game on the play. Fourth down. Rivera is the punter. Brown fields it at the 35. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. That's good for a game of 13 yards. That makes 
Six first and ten. ten. They come out on an empty backfield. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down. Just under three to go in regulation. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That's good for a game of eight yards. First down. Ready. Green 19. Green 19. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Let's see if they can put that last interception behind them and do something different this time in the red zone. He guns it. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 51-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So the score now, 27-21. He's tackled at the 45. What a great game for this quarterback, showing off a wide-ranging skill set. I think overall we're getting a good feel of why he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country. He's throwing the ball from the pocket. At times he's taking off and scrambling and throwing on the run. And of course he has the athletic ability to be able to make big plays with his feet. He's getting it going on the ground game too. And if you force a defense to have to keep a spy on the quarterback, that's just going to be one less guy in coverage. And it's just going to be more opportunities in the passing game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Iowa State is up by six. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Oklahoma is going to take their first time out of the half. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 46. Here's a handoff, left side. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. Oklahoma will have one timeout remaining. Here's the halfback. And he's leveled at the 47. And he'll be stopped well short of the first down. You have the lead in the fourth quarter, and it's third and long. Why risk a turnover? Just play it safe and work the clock. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. He really got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And the corner on the interception. Inside the 30. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. It's first and 10. Ball of the 29. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. 
They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Iowa State with a six-point lead. Gives it to the back. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. The Cyclones know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future. But for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance. And, and really, the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.